everybody and welcome to MRKWP YouTube channel. I'm the founder of MRKWP, Matthew, and today we're talking five steps, five important things that you need to do to optimize your website for local search. Number one, is always have a dedicated contact page. That means that you should have a page with your phone number, with your address, with your operating hours, and links to your social media, clearly explaining how people can contact you. Now, obviously a good contact page should have a link to things like Google Maps. When you click that link, does it show your address? Make sure all those sorts of things are there so people can get directions easily, the address is clear, put a contact form on there. So number one is a high quality contact page. Now, if you have multiple locations, right, more than one location, you should have one page per location with its address, with its operating hours and a phone number that reaches that location. Now, if you end up with location situations where you might have say two or three locations in a state, you service states or regions, you can have region pages with those addresses on them, but it really is important to have dedicated landing pages. So Google knows where to send people when they're searching for your location in their particular local area. All right, number two is to have valid structured data. Structured data is some JavaScript in most cases in the header of your web page. And what that does is tells Google all that important information on your contact page. All right, now if you've only got one contact detail, the wonderful thing is free plugins like Yoast and Rank Math, they're gonna look after that for you. You just go through the settings, set what type of business you are, what the business name is, what the image is, those sorts of details, and that will help your data card show up inside uh, Google Search and Bing Search. So that's a really important thing to get on top of is your structured data. Make sure you add your social media to it as well. And if you have more than one location, you've got to really get a plugin or something like that in WordPress to make sure that each location has the right structured data, including operating hours and when that office will be manned. Number three now is a citation audit. Citations, yep, that's right. So citations, when we think of them, are different places all around the internet that feature your business. There are all those directories out there, all those different places where people search for businesses. So a lot of them are free, but you need to make sure that you do a citation audit. And you might think, well, where do I even start to go to these things? Well, good thing is there's some great tools out there that can help you. Um, the one that I use a bit is the tool in SEMrush. So SEMrush is an SEO optimization tool. It has a location auditing tool. Make sure all those citations have the right details with the right operating hours, and the right address. And with that dedicated contact page that you made in point one, make sure that the link for each location goes to its specific contact page. And that will really make sure that when the crawlers are out there crawling the internet, looking about your business, they're gonna find, hey, here's this directory listing in this area, and that links to this page, and the crawlers start to map that data together, understanding what local area your business services. Next is quite important and can be difficult, and that is claiming your listing on Google Business. Google Business is a tool that is great when it works well and painful when it doesn't but you wanna be able to claim your business listings. Now to have a business listing on Google, it has to be a manned office, and ideally it should be open in normal operating hours. But you wanna make sure that you claim that, that you claim that under an email address. Now when you do claim those details, make sure the first thing you do is add another user to that account. Because if you lose that email address and you, you don't have somebody who's linked up to that in the future, claiming those back into your business can be really, really hard. So always make sure you add that extra email address, add that extra user when you claim your Google business listing. If it's already claimed, that's when it starts to get really tricky to claim a listing. All right, number five, make sure that on Google Search Console and Big Console for Search, that in those two tools, right, that you have linked your website up and you're making sure that the crawler works correctly. If you've done those five things, then all the basics of local SEO have been done and you've put your business into a great spot to do further local SEO. But I find that most businesses that do these five things, they're gonna get great local search results right from there. I hope these five tips have helped you. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below. Did you find these tips helpful? Anything that you're struggling to complete in this video that you'd like an in-depth tutorial, let me know in the comments, I'll make that tutorial. And of course, we put content out like this most weeks. 
So subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.